<laughs> Twas the night before Christmas by Clement Seymour. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When, out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. The moon on the breast of the, v- of the noon fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. Away to the window I flew like a dash and tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment that must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came and whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry as the leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to in the sky. So up to the housetop the cursors they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney came St. Nicholas with a bow. He was dressed in all fur from his head from to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, which he sook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but he went straight to work, and filled the stockings and turned with a jerk laying a finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim her, he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.